I want to I want to tell you about uh, tanning hides two ways. One's uh, how, to, how to make buckskin like this, um, and then the other is uh, is brain tanning. So so like the hat, um, or or to do to do furs. So so you get a, a really soft um, soft fur that's that's waterproof. So this is a um, a little weasel. Um, it's really easy. Uh, we we do it here in in Hazelton. Um, we've done a little bit of little bit of teaching, and, and I have my own my own projects um, as well. And generally speaking, I do um, like a two day or three day workshop, uh, start to finish. Um, but when I do my own hides, I try to maximize uh, the passive processes, um, to, so to minimize the active work that I'm doing with the hide. And one of the things um, that's really great about this time of year, where it's about five degrees above during the day and five below at night. Um, is you get a freeze thaw, and so you can do something called freeze tanning. So come on and check out uh, what this can look like. So here I have a half moose. Um, this is the rump. You can see where it's all uh, kind of baggy. And if this is wet, it's going to be wet during the day, and it's going to freeze at night, and it's going to expand as it freezes, it's going to expand all those fibers, um, and through that process of freeze-thaw, it actually gets softer without me doing anything. So I like to stack functions, so everything I do, I want to do more than one thing. So when I'm cutting my wood, um, I'm also taking that fresh bark off of the birch. And what I'm doing here is, this is for the, the bark tanning, um, which is an old Russian way of, of preserving leather. So I'm going to keep this fresh bark um, and then I'm going to boil it um, to make a tea. I'll boil the same pot of bark a number of times to get different strengths of tea. And I'll just show you how much water I put in here. And I always start with a weak tea and, and move progressively stronger. This is the weasel in the tea there. So I do sell hides, but I much prefer to teach people to tan their own hides because the goal isn't to um, tan lots of hides for lots of people. The goal is for people to be able to engage in their own craft and in their own life. Um, and, and that's really where my passion is, is to help people become more alive in their own living.